Yeah, I'm Jose Pedro Manzano from uh, I'm a master student from Spain. Um, I have your attention for this photo, so I would like to ask uh, how many people here work uh, analyzing brain data. All right. Um, how many of you think that one of the next steps should be uh, to find some way of combining different type of information to find new biomarkers? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but actually, uh, <laughs> this this approach uh, comes from from other reasons. In my lab, we are dealing with uh, different experiments that. The main objective is to assess the dynamic functional connectivity in the brain during long periods of, of time. Uh, for that, we are using fMRI. So how many people know what is fMRI? Cool. <laughs> so basically, with this technique, we can acquire a whole brain imaging. It's two seconds, for example. And after the scan, uh, we, we have some time series that we have to preprocess and analyze. There are so many methods uh, proposed to, to, to analyze this data. But the most common are based on uh, correlation analysis and independent component analysis. But, um, however, uh, both methods have some important limitation in the assessing of dynamic functional connectivity. So, my proposal is to apply a spike neural network to analyze brain data. Um, I have to say that this is a proof of concept uh, based on new Coop framework from Oakland University. Um, in a very simple uh, explanation, we have temporal information and um, spatial information. So if we code all this information into the same domain, in this case, spike trains, uh, maybe we'll be able to create uh, some platform for uh, combine different type of data and extract new results. So this is our network. We code the uh, temporal information into spike trains and uh, spatial information into brain coordinates. And after that, uh, we have to perform an unsupervised learning to extract the evolution of the change of the weights, the leaks between neurons, and activity of, uh, of neurons, etc. And the last part, the second part, is to perform a dynamic clustering to assess this evolution of the network in the brain. So I know I'm a beginner in this field. Uh, so um, actually, the, the project is just starting, so I will be glad to receive in my poster. I don't know the number, but uh, to receive uh, some. Number 24. Number 24. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I will be glad to offer a cold call beer to some advices or, or critics. Thank you. Thank you.